Well, we've had a bereavement. After six years of loyal service to the cause, Barry has finally given up the ghost and fallen to pieces. So, as it's peeing down, and I don't fancy doing external weeding, it's off to Bob and Quentin's. Uncle Wilco is no longer with us either, is he? Wilco's was a great shop, but it's gone. So it's off to Bob and Quentin's for a replacement for old Billy the Barra. I think he can be fixed him, he could be revived and come back zombified. But uh, I'm going to get a new one anyway. Could do with a couple, one for each plot. So let's crack on. I'll see you in a bit. Well guys, there's the selection from B&Q. It's what Bob and Quentin have got on offer. It said on the website there was a two-wheeled barrow similar to... Uh, Similar to Billy, but he, he, there isn't one. Um, so we're just looking at these four. Now we've got four different types. There's a galvanised one there that I've really got my eye on. I think that's the one I'm going to go for. Galvanised metal doesn't tend to rust. And if you look on these ones, you do start to get evidence, because it's not galvanised metal that there is rust coming on them already. Now that's a contractor's um, puncture proof one. So I quite like the idea of those tyres, but the pneumatic ones give you that extra sort of cushioning when you're going over rough terrain. And these will be a bit, I think, bone shaky. But that's the uh, the contractor black puncture proof. But again, it's not galvanised metal. Some uh, sack chucks there. Galvanised pneumatic wheelbarrow, 120 litre. I think that's the one I'm going to go for. Plastic ones there. The plastic ones are okay. But they do tend to crack. And they get discoloured in the sun like that. See, it's yellower on top. It is down there. And as I say, these ones that are not um, galvanise, you get the rust. So I'm going to go for this one. That one. Galvanised pneumatic wheelbarrow. You can get spur tyres for them as well, which is always handy. Because you never know when a thorn's going to go through. We've got some spur tyres here. Yeah, £17 for them. And the galvanised ones are 60 quid, and I think that's going to be uh, fit for purpose. There's a B and Q guy who thinks I'm talking to myself. He's right, like. Yeah, we're going to go for him. I'm walking around these places, just talking to myself. Odd, isn't it? Weird. But I think that's the, that's that's the choice for me anyway. The galvanised, yeah, more rust resistant. Also, I'll show you something else. This um, polypropylene pneumatic wheelbarrow there doesn't have a a front brace. If you look at these ones, you've got the front brace in it, obviously at the front where it goes to where the tyre is. And I think that gives that extra strength and stability to the barrel. So you've got actually six fixing points, rear, front, and then the, the front face has got those um, support struts going across. Yeah, so that's the only one that doesn't have that. Of course the new Billy does, Billy Mark II. Yeah, I think that'll do the job to be fair. Literage wise, 120 litres. How many litres is this one? Does it say? It doesn't say, but I'm thinking it's round about the same. Doesn't say on that one either. I think it does on this, doesn't it? 85 litres on that. Heavy duty pneumatic wheelbarrow, but it's only an 85 litre one, so the actual bowl, if you like, isn't going to be quite as big as that one. Okay. 
Right. Yeah, we'll have him. Put all the rest of them back where they were, like a good, uh, honest, upright citizen. Yeah. Just passing these uh, water butts. 100 litre ones there. They're, I think they're, th are they 32 quid? Yeah. But the, the 210 litre is uh, is 41 quid. It's nine pounds more for the 210 litre. That's um, on clearance for 30, because the tap's knackered. But it's 39 for them. Five years ago, when I bought my water butts for Tiki Hut, of which I've got, I think, three or four, is it? Four. Uh, they were £19 each five years ago, and now they're 32 quid. Everything's gone up in price. When I bought Billy, the two wheeled barrel, he was 40 quid, and the wheeled barrels, like the one I've just got, was 35, and now it's 60. And again, that was about five years ago. Shows you that, doesn't it? In five years. The salaries and wages haven't gone up by almost double in five years, have they? So apparently I made a, a schoolboy header of trusting my eyes. Them wheelbarrows shouldn't have been there, apparently. There is no sign for them, but they're actually 75 quid. The sack truck is 60 quid. Let me just go back and check, because I'm sure that, that label was over there, over them. Yeah, so it is for the sack truck. That one's not got a, a price tag on it. It's a bit disappointing, isn't it? No wheelbarrow for me today. Yeah, so 75 quid for a oh, single wheel wheelbarrow. Galvanised or not galvanised is too much for this kid's blood. So uh, we'll be shopping elsewhere, I think. Yeah, so five years ago when myself and Magical McDarbyshire from Old McDarby's Farm bought our two wheel bi uh, barrows, they were galvanised barrows, uh, they were 40 or 42. I think they got up to 42 quid when Mick bought these because I got mine first and he liked the cut of its jib and he bought his own. So I think they got up to buy two quid to 42 and that was for the two wheel ones the single wheel barrels of the same kind of style if you like like that one um they were 35 quid 35 pounds sterling so that's gone up that more than double in five years more than double It's disgusting, that, isn't it? We're looking at those water butts. Those water butts are the same. I think there was, I think I paid in Aldi for the for a very similar one. I think I got one from Aldi, and it was fifteen pounds. And then the other two were sort of like eighteen pounds. I forget where I got them from. It might have been from Lidl, Lidl or somewhere like that. But it's a wonder. They, they wonder why people are increasingly going and buying things online. To online shopping and the reason is it's a lot cheaper yeah you've got to wait a few days for it but i mean on amazon you can get that express delivery I, i've sort of steered away from it because i want to sort of support people who are actually working in shops and stuff but when the prices have gone up astronomically what else can you do we're not made of money times are hard aren't they anyway enough of my ranting so now I'm at uh, Robin Park, which is a retail park, which is just, well, probably a couple of minutes away from the B&Q in Wigan. And used to be the home of Wix, which was similar to B&Q, but now it's not. Nobody told me. So there it is, it's a B&M Bargains now, or a B&M store now open it does say garden centre coming soon but then it says now open so I, we'll, we'll risk it we'll have a look no nope. it's not open yet the garden centre bit it's all right if you want cheap 
cheap spam or pretend Lego or something like that. <laughs> okay, so I'm off to the place where I should have gone in the first place, which is Paul Green Nurseries on Church Lane, Charnock Richard. I've just rung them up, they've got one in. 64.95 galvanized which is the one I'm gonna get I'll catch you there Paul Green Nurseries and Plant Centre on Church Lane Charnock Richard where I should have gone in the first place boys and girls a northwest growers stole what since uh, 1929 Paul Lane Paul Green Paul Lane Paul Green Nurseries Let's check it out. All right, just by uh, way of comparison, 100 litre water butts. $21.99. So it's a tenner cheaper in here for your water butts. Here's your garden ornaments. Look at that, at these. Cheeky. Bird baths are plenty. I like these, these are nice, aren't they? The pagodas. Lord Buddha there. I think they're a good angel. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah, you're certainly not stuck for a, a garden ornament at Paul Green Nurseries on Church Lane, Charnock Richard. That looks smart, doesn't it? Yeah, cool. Absolute. That's a good one as well, isn't it? That kind of a wood effect. Oh, yes. There's absolutely tons of stuff in here, you know. You could spend half a day easy walking around. Anyway, back to the barrel. Some beautiful pots. Where did I put my barrel? There it is. And there's the barrel. Again, a tenner cheaper than B&Q. And while I was here, I couldn't resist. Got some Casablanca and some Senshu Japanese overwintering onions. And um, ignore that. These are the fresh farm eggs, these. some of those as well so with some slight logistical jiggery pokery we've managed to get it in without smashing a window into the old 3 series beamer so yeah Brennan's growers since 1929 a helpful friendly reliable service to the local community and independent is always good and there's its new home Billy Mark 2 I've stuck it underneath there it's propped up under the it's actually like sort of jammed in if you like it so that should be all right and if it falls over it falls over but it's not going to fall through that greenhouse is it there so it's uh, it should be in a safe position and there's my garlic chameleons you get about 10 cloves off each one of those um, garlic bulbs, so we've got 40 garlic bulbs there. No, we've not we've got 60 garlic bulbs, I would say. And then the onions, there's plenty more onions as well. Of the Senshu variety. Japanese Senshu. 
which uh, are these when they grow they're the senshu from uh, from this year there's also been a senshu from next year I'm going to clear these out because they're not going to be doing any uh, any good in here I might take a few onions tonight and do some um, braiding with them or plait them for longer term storage alright boys and girls that's it for me for today we're sorted gone against the corporate machine today haven't we and got uh, a, a, an independent supplier for our new wheelbarrow if I don't see you through the week I'll see you through the window but remember keep growing with your heads down as you can see behind me and uh, we love you all take care of yourselves and each other Toodle pit for now guys, take it easy, ta-da.